Hello, uh, I'm Ed and this is Arish. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, went away. Um, uh, the, the idea behind this one is that uh, a lot of the initiatives, carbon reduction uh, initiatives, we tend to focus on where we are now um, and sort of analysing that. Whereas if it's true that we need to make quite big changes, uh, what about thinking about uh, where we need to get to and what might that look like? Uh, so this is a pretty simple kind of one-liner uh, based around that idea. Um, the idea is that people will come to it, they'll play around with it for a bit because it's a bit fun for a few seconds and then um, share it to their friends and it'll sort of spread the, uh, the ideas. And so basically, um, uh, so who, who knows what uh, our average kind of carbon footprints per year uh, are? Uh, stick your hands up if you think it's more than five tons. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So somewhere, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, probably. And, and what about um, what is actually the sort of sustainable carbon footprint? That uh, so should we start from five and work downwards? So five. Anybody think five is okay? Four, three, two, one, <laughs> 0 0.5, uh, negative one, negative two, <laughs> negative, yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a contentious issue, but there's some research and um, somewhere between uh, one, two tons has come up, uh, but really contentious. Um, but anyway, I just picked one ton just as a sort of starting point because it's just a making a simple point. And so the idea is you uh, come here and then you've got your one ton um, to play with. And the nice thing about that is psychologically, rather than being everything is sort of, oh, we've got to reduce, we've got to reduce, it's reduce, reduce, it's quite negative. But if you actually say um, we've got uh, one ton to play with, and that's like opportunity. So it's positive then. So then, yeah, you've got your um, uh, one ton and you can choose how you, you design your lifestyle around that. So. Uh, would you prefer to live, um, have a, a meat-rich diet, which will take that much of your uh, one ton for the year, or, or a vegan diet, um, and then you can trade that off with, you know, buying an iPad? That's probably not that accurate. <laughs> <laughs> would you like that, you know, car ownership or or not? And then, so that's it. You've probably seen enough by now. So now you can just uh, save, save and share this uh, lifestyle, so give it a name, a description, save it, you get given it a URL which uh, is unique so you can tweet that and then people can, will then go and see what your idea for a lifestyle is, then they can play around for a bit and then they can share it and that's it, uh, really. But, oh yeah, um, the really cool thing um, uh, that uh, Luis um, was working on this weekend is connecting it to um, Amy's uh, data set. So rather than just having this uh, sort of small closed uh, amount of data, um, which you can actually add um, new ones to yourself, but um, if you, you using Ask Amy, um, which is a sort of new, I think, beta sort of experimental, but really funky things, you can ask it in real English um, uh, stuff. Um, uh, you can do it on the directory. <laughs> the original one. Yeah, this is the original their site. And then we sort of integrated it and they provided us, uh, James um, built us a uh, sort of JSON feedback so that we could um, in incorporate it in one time. <coughs> yeah, so now if you um, hit something there, um, yeah, it starts to come back with more items from Amy, and you can drag them in as well.
Thanks very much.